filling my gas up for me today? Uh, yeah, gotta, gotta do something for dad. Yeah, I know, helping the old man out here, huh? Yeah! <laughs> what up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. It is 4.30 in the a.m., and Bond's daddy and I, we're at the old convenience store to get our caffeine for the morning, and he's doing me a favor and filling up my truck. One thing that you can do for a buddy, one of the best things that you can do, one of your hunting buddies that's scouting or driving or traveling, just in his truck all the time, Fill this tank up for him every once in a while. Thanks, Bonds Daddy. I got you. You know what we're doing today, right? You gotta uh, tell him now so. I'm not awake yet, so. You won't stop doing it. You won't be like at the end of the hunt, I'm not gonna do this. Catch clean cook. We are doing a catch clean cook today, uh, whatever fellas. Whatever we kill. If you kill a shoveler, you're, yep. you're cooking it. Oh, yeah. Oh, so, yeah. If it's a shoveler, we're cooking it. If it's a coot, we're cooking it. Bonzel. I'm not shooting any co coots today. That's all I know. <laughs> but he's gonna eat them. <laughs> all done, huh? Guys, I gotta show you real quick. Ducks has released more cold gear items, not only the vest, this bad boy right here, but this new patch beanie. Look at that bad boy. This is a little sexy beanie. It is, when's it drop? Today. Today, this video. Right as this video is posted, it's now live. We will link it down in the description below. But like I said, Ducks came out with a bunch of new cold gear products. I'll link them all down in the description below. Oh. I think I'm gonna have to step it up today, Bonzo. All right, we're going big now. boy. You're you keep talking about how great this is. They're good. What flavor? This one? They're good. Orange, That's, I've never drinks. had orange dream sickle. That I've never like had a me thing. It does. You know, Andrew Flair makes fun of me for fruity drinks. You love so your fruity drinks. I gotta stay with my fruity drinks. The rains. I'm telling well, you, I've been putting them on. I've been putting them on Bonzo. Uh, bad thing is, I've warned you all about them. They're like 300 milligrams of caffeine. Bad deal. Okay. Bad, so, <laughs> Badlands. Badlands. Ooh, you spotted some jalapenos? Yeah. Jalapeno jerky sticks? Ooh, wait. Oh, going with a little creatine action, huh, Kyle? Yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you gonna bring your man purse when you come down? I think I'm just gonna start following Nick around, not you, Bob. Well, as long as comrades <clears throat> comer don't fly over, <laughs> yeah. we won't have to bleep too much. <laughs> Hey, Nick, you got enough mojos, buddy? Bob, you thought I was addicted to mojos. Yeah, exactly. Well, we only need a couple. If, if, you, if you had a 20-foot extension pole for four of these, I'd put you up against Bonzel's mojo rig. They can see them from miles away. Miles, literally. Is anyone else taking anything? I don't think so. Just too much I got my, my gun in my bag, but I can carry it out with me. Okay. Nick, how's the hunt going to be today? I'm going to give it a college try. That's what am I call it? Hey, where'd you go? Damn. That's a good boy. Are you tired today? Are you tired? Are you worn out, little man? Huh? I'm very bored. You ready, Fred? Stay away from the wheel. Don't be getting ran over by the sled either. These dogs are going crazy. They're going crazy. Let's go, Fred. He's just a loving life today. He's getting the hang of things. Well, it's shooting light. We're finally in the blind, ready to go. Uh, there's probably been about 20 ducks buzz us. Yeah, here's a group right behind us. Check it out. You can put it down. Another one? Oh, water shooter McGavin hey, over Joe, here. You missed yours. I know. One over there. I, I didn't like, see him until it was too late. Jesus, what like, are you shooting, bud? This is what you gave me. What's it, what is it? You were like, my gun can't shoot these. <laughs> I don't know why these are in the truck. <laughs> You're shooting three and a half BBs. <laughs> Ain't anything getting away today. Water swatting <laughs> birds out here with three and a half. Leave it to Austin here. Fred, here. Set. Three. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Fred, dead bird. Good, here. Let's go. There we go. I barely got the camera on for that one. <laughs> sit, sit. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Oh, how did he get away? There. 
That pin tail is a lucky dog. Here, Fred, here, no bird. Did we drop anything? No. No. Oh, didn't hit anything. Oh, yeah. Good job, boys. Yeah. We're just really crushing it. I didn't pull the trigger. Oh, shut. I was behind it. I didn't pull the trigger. Good lord. I'm just being honest. Fred, here. Come on, buddy. He just. I'm sorry, man. No bird. That was magical. Yeah, that was that was magical. Come over the top. Come over the top. Get him. I'm not shooting over him. Oh, another clip boy. No bird. Ooh. Come on. Y'all think we should move the decoys out a little farther in case they do that? I don't know. With the wind we got? Oh, oh this dude. Fred, Fred, Fred. Oh, God. Oh, God. Whoa. Fred, here, here, here. Fred. Fred, no bird. Whoa. That became a rodeo real quick. Did we get anything? No. I think we got one. Yeah. Did we? Yeah, one, one dump. One down over there? I never shot. I was like, my gun was over here, then over oh, here. Oh, dude. Never, like, that bird literally here. almost touched the tip of my barrel. Did you ever I was, shoot? No. I was never on a bird. There was no way. Here, we got three more out front right here. Here. Fred, here. Good boy, Sit. Good boy. Oh, we're That's a beautiful widgeon. Yeah. You knew it. That's a beautiful studly widgeon, isn't it? It's banded widgeon. Oh, old Jack got him. Got one. Woo! We got all three of them. Yeah. Ah. Nick, you see that one laying over there? Woo! <laughs> Boom! Oh, he's still going. Someone clap him dogs? before he gets to the reef. Ah, he's dead. Nice yeah. shot, Bontel. You're yeah. good at that water swatting. I never should have learned, <laughs> learned from the professional. You're right. You taught me. <laughs> good boy, Freddie got it. Yeah, here, Fred, here. They've been trying to get this bird out of the reeds. Uh, the one that they had to water swat to death to get him to stop swimming. Fred got him. Fred's doing good today. Third nope. third hunt, man. He's really coming around, you know what I mean? Ooh, whoa. Camera and all just took a plunge. Thank God it wasn't a gun. We're all good. Oh, here he comes, boys. Oh, is that a widgey? That's a widgey, isn't left. it? Oh, right there. There you go, kill. Oh, he clicked. Dang. Ah, I wasn't going to shoot over the top of you, that was for sure. Well, a uh, little mid-morning update. What time is it, Bontel? Mid-morning, 7.56. <laughs> um, 7.56. Storm is a rolling in on us here. North Dakota is supposed to be getting one heck of a storm. And... Might die. Oh, come on now, Bontel. It's, it's almost it's here. Ooh. Ooh. Kill him, boys. Nice, nice shot down yonder. <laughs> As you can tell, it's a uh, big water hunt today. As you can tell behind us, we got some uh, silhouette goose decoys in case any honkers want to roll through us. We got birds on the way, boys. But little floater spread out front, two mojos, a little Canada Silo spread behind us, uh, four A-frames, eight guys, not bad. Them boys dead. Nice. Boom. Well, Fred's gonna get some training today. Bob, I think it's time for you to try the three and a half. No, no, no. Hell no. Look at that. Old ring neck. Look good. That's a good looking chubby little guy. Old Freddy brought him back. You chubby little guy. Look at him. Good looking little little ring neck. Here, Fred. Good boy. Well. We're just sitting here, decided to make some coffee, didn't we, Fred? Well, Bradley over here brought this little coffee maker action. This bad boy. Huh. I'm about to make up some free range, though. Early morning bite. I've never had this one. I've, I've had, never. I've, I've had never. most of them, but I haven't had this one. I'm excited to try it. Yeah, I've never had early morning coffee. bite either. Hook it up down here. Mmm. <laughs> oh, fire up, Bonzel. Fire her up. Ooh, hoo, hoo. We're about to sip on some yummy, warm, free-range coffee, baby. Ooh, Bradley, with the move. Thanks, man. 
We're gonna warm our tootsies up in here. That baby's just ripping. I've never used one of these. I haven't either. I'm kind of impressed. I am too. Oh, how is it? Must be good. It's hot, but really good. I really like good? Yeah. Do I make a mean cup of coffee? Do I make a mean you cup do. of coffee? I'm, I'm impressed. I'm not a huge coffee guy. I'm a big energy drink guy. Right. I like this. I like this blend. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's real good, dude. Mm. Where's more? You want some, Fred? Coming over the top. Coming over the top. Get him. I'm not shooting over him. Oh, another click? No! Oh, that was pretty. Oh, it hit it. It definitely hit it. Darn it. Oh, my goodness. Look at that guy. Boy, howdy. That's a beaut. Woo, studs. Well, old Bradley's gonna make us uh, another cup here. Another Check cup this of Joe. Out. Yeah. I really like Rogers. Gonna press it. Is it that hard to press? You mm, yep. just like to go nice and slow. Too expensive. Huh. That's interesting. Not gonna lie. Huh. That's sweet. Come on, old girl. Did you bring a skillet so we can make bacon and eggs too? I didn't get that crazy. Golly. What's that? Fred, you can't just put it in your mouth and throw it on the ground, man. One of the best blind snacks you'll ever have. You gotta try them. Are you sponsored? Nope. Wish I was, though. Made myself. Yeah. Oh, they are made in North Dakota. You're right. Where are you at, Docs? Hook it up. Come on. Send us a care package. There you go. That head is the best. Whoa. Check this gadwall out for sure. This thing is a stud. Absolute stud. Wow. Wow. Most studliest gadwall I've ever seen. Nope. <laughs> Man, here, Fred, here. Boy, howdy, when they go ripping behind us like that, that's that's a hard shot. Why didn't you hit that one? I didn't shoot. <laughs> here we go. I don't want to waste your shells. Gotcha. I only shoot if I know I'm going to kill. <laughs> nice. That boy did. Well, the shooting has slowed down a little bit. The storm is rolling in. North Dakota is going to be getting a winter blizzard uh, starting tonight. We're leaving in the morning. Today is our last hunt, so uh, the storm is moving in on us quick. Another one coming. Oh, yeah. Fred here. Fred here. Here they come back. <laughs> Nice. That's all she wrote, Frederick. That's it, buddy. Well, we're going to get to packing up here. The storm's rolling in on us. It's starting to mist. Uh, the temperature's already dropped, I don't know, 10, 15 degrees on us. As you can tell, uh, I'm going to put the camera down, though. I'm going to put it in the bag. I don't want it getting all muddy, wet, and everything. So we'll pick the video up in one second. Well, here we go. 29 ducks total. Heck of a mixed bag. Thanks, Nick. Big thanks to Dirty Bird getting us out here. But if any of you are wanting to come up to North Dakota to shoot mallards, crazy mixed bags just like this, open field hunts, slew hunts, marsh hunts, all the above, get a hold of Dirty Bird right here. Shoot them a DM. They respond to every message. Let me tell you what. Let me get out of here. I got it. I got it. No, we want you to the local beauty. Oh, no, to be in the, the local way. beauties right the here. Local beauty. Well, we're going to clean up some. Uh, some ring neck but we're gonna open her up here give her a little pulling peel oh yeah why don't you pluck it like he is i know he's this. plucking it look at that what are you fitting to, how are you fitting to cook him local smoke butte? it smoke it are you gonna smoke it yep fat on I'm just gonna make me a cut on each side of that breastbone bang and bang I haven't showed this yet this year, but if you take your thumb and you slide it against the rib cage and you go down with it, it takes it all off. You ain't got to fillet it. it. Takes all that meat off. You just pill her back and boom, 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 boom. 
I know, I know a lot of you are gonna be going, Bob, you need to pluck it, you need to roast it, you need to smoke it like the local Butte Nick, but guess what? We're traveling. I ain't got that much time, okay? Well, the hunt is over. We're back at the hotel, as you can see. We just got back from the grocery store. Like I said, we're gonna do us a little duck catch cook clean here on the grill. They got a propane grill out back. We checked it out. It does work, in fact. But this is what we got going on. We're gonna do kebabs again. We got their sticks. We got Montreal steak seasoning, a little bit of spicy action there. Spicy. And then what do we got? Uh, red onions. What do you got there? Those, those are yours. Those are mine. That's oh, not part. Those are your snacks. Oh, my bad. Oh, here we go. Jalapenos. Okay. What you else we got? Housed all those already. Yeah, no bake fudge uh, cookies. Those, those are yours. Are those, those are definitely are yours. Uh, bell peppers. Lots bell, bell peppers. peppers. Yep. Okay. But this. Yeah. These two. I, they're gonna yeah. be money. Okay. Steak sauce and spicy Montreal steak seasoning. I think it'll yes, work. Sir. I think it's gonna be good on a kebab with the vegetables. I think the teal will be really good. So we have ringneck, teal, and mallard. That's and what we're... And shoveler. Oh, we did clean a shoveler. Yeah. So four species. I do know which ones they are, so we're gonna sort them out, cook them, see which ones are the best. Well, here we go. We're adding the steak sauce. I think it's gonna be good. This, this smells is, good. This is the shoveler. So this is the shoveler breast. <laughs> this one needs a little extra. <laughs> <laughs> Now here we go. There's our ring neck. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, well check it out. Which way does this go? So this way, we got them all prepared here. Uh, we got teal, mallard, ring neck, and spoonie. What I did, uh, we chunked them all up, cut them into chunks. We got jalapeno, uh, green bell pepper, red onion, and then we got the steak sauce that we marinated for right out about an hour to two hours, and then we have the spicy steak Montreal seasoning. So, there we go. We're gonna taste test everybody, okay? <laughs> Frederick, not you, buddy. Not, not you today, not today. But we're all gonna see which one's better. You gotta drop a comment. Which one is gonna taste better? Drop a comment down below, let me know. Mallard, teal, spoonie, or ringneck? Which one? Definitely spoonie. Think so? Think so. Well, here we go. She's sizzling hot. First, we're gonna throw down the teal. That's why it's smaller. It's not as big as the other ones. Got a little tenderloin hanging there. Be all right. There's the teal, and then the mallardo, and then the ringneck. And then the spoonie. Look at that. I mean, that's pretty yummy if I have to do, do so say so myself. <laughs> well, they're done, boys. Let's pull them off. All right, first step, the teal. Fred, get back. That's not yours. Here you go. Here you go, fellas. Teal. Got, what was this one? This is mallard, right? No, get back, Frederick. Mallard. Ring neck. And a little bit of the spooner. Who's going first? Bob, you gotta go first. Right. Which one should I try first? <clears throat> What's spoony? Nah. No. Spoonie no. Or ring neck? Spoonie? Mix it up. Alright, hold on. This one's this one's spoony. Let's try spoony first. I'm interested. Spoony! We'll follow it up. With a little bit of pepper. Yeah, you're gonna need a chaser for this one. marinade does a lot that wasn't that bad we're gonna follow it up with a little bit of ring neck baby I really think the ring neck was way better than the spoonie to be quite honest with you pretty good though you might as well just go for mallard and eat them all and then just switch to people okay. We'll go with a big, fat, juicy piece of mallard. Oh god, that's good. Big difference between mallard and spoonies and uh, ring necks. That mallard's way better. I guarantee you I try this teal and it's better than the mallard. <laughs> Guaranteed. 
here. See how small it is. Yeah, that's it in order. Right down the pipe. Rail's back. Try a spoonie. Here you go, Frederick. Or I should say, bar outdoors. You want it? Link, link in description. <laughs> want some? Bob's not even oh, You don't want it. <laughs> what are you trying first here? Spoonie. Spoonie? Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at Not all. Bad. No ranch accent. I'm not happy though. A Ooh. little bit of ranch action. Ooh, there you go. Ooh, with a little bit of pepper action. Oh. Ow. There you go. Look at Frederick. You're making him jealous, man. Final thought. I can't complain. Pretty good, huh? Yeah. Honest. I'm honest. It's pretty good. But I will say, uh, I think it goes, my honest opinion before, I mean, honestly, Bonzel, you're going to have to try all four in order like I did okay. and see if it's the okay. same deal. Yeah. So, for he, that spoonie, yep. okay, go ahead and plop the spoonie. Just the meat first, get get the taste. It's, it's, it's really not bad. It's not as chewy as I thought. You can you can really taste that steak, uh, that steak marinade. It's spicy though. It's a little spicy. It's good. I like that. No, I like it. So Alrighty, old Bon. Bonzel is moving to the ring neck. A Ooh, a little bit of red onion and ring neck. Okay. Take I it. I don't think I've ever had ring neck. No, I never have before this either. A hair better? I'm gonna go different than you. Really? That spoonie was a little better. There was a little more game in this to me. Really? For me, yeah. Hmm. I think it's. I think it tastes pretty close, but I think there's a difference when you get to the mallard and the till. All right. Mallard, it's up. It's not even close. Right away, dude. You, taste you can it. automatically tell. That is so good. Yeah. I'm Wait till impressed. you get to you the tail. Good. Wait till you get to the teal. Serious, like mallard and then teal. Teal, by far the best. All right. Don't need no chaser when you, no. when you have teal. Oh, know. teal, dude. Teal. Look, boom. It's so good. It's a steak. It's the best. The rest is like meat. This is a steak. Oh yeah, it's steak. But. I will say the spoon bill was a lot better than I thought. I was like, this is gonna yeah, taste bad. Yeah, I was worried. I was worried about the ring neck just completely being garbage. Yeah, I don't know. They were both very similar, but I think the spoon bill had a little less game to it. Really? Yeah. What'd you think, man? I tried to give you one, but you wouldn't eat it. Old Frederick, he worked hard this weekend. Let me tell you, he's still happy though. Look at that tail. It won't stop. I'm telling you, old Frederick. He killed it this hunt. He killed it this entire trip. Just did awesome. By the third day, the third hunt, he was out there just making money moves by himself in and out of the blind, retrieving every bird that fell it seemed like. Couldn't be more happier with him. But big shout out to Dirty Bird. Uh, Nick put us on the juice the entire time. Are you alive? Barely. Barely, are you worn out? Yeah, 3 a.m. three days in a row. Yeah. No naps. This guy, Nap from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. What are you talking about, Willis? Oh, no. Hello, who's there? Oh, hey, buddy. Oops, sir, it's boy. Oh, hello. Oh, hey hello. there. Hey, hey. Hello. What'd you think of the trip? It was awesome. Uh, solid three days. Got cold today. Probably a lot of birds coming in we're about to miss, but overall, win-win. Boys got out and had a great time. Big shout out to Dirty Bird for sure. The entire Ducks crew had one heck of a time up here. But I hope you guys enjoyed the Catch Clean Cook. If you like this video, smash a thumbs up for your boy. And if you have it, hit that notification bell down there. We're going to be doing waterfowl hunts all season. It is here. It is time. But until next time, y'all. Peace.